to Abbeville for our Zip Trip. 7 News' Fred Cunningham is live with more on the Abbeville Panther Athletics. Good morning, Simone. Yes, we are talking a lot about Abbeville, Abbeville High School, the Panthers, and we're joined once again by Benji Greeson, who uh, not only is one of the voices of the broadcast of the Abbeville High School games, you've been doing it for close to a decade now on WZLA-FM. You're the owner of the radio station, yep. and obviously that's just such a great part of a community, having a local radio station. Yeah, we love it. We're, we really try to be ingrained in the community. Our, uh, our morning show now is 10 years old, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I've, I've owned the station for four years now. We've been doing Panther broadcast since the early 90s. Uh, Wayne Stevenson is the voice of the Panthers. He couldn't be here this morning, but uh, he's got 33 years wow. under his belt and so many, he's seen all the great games. That's, you know. that's so true. Well, they've played a, a lot here, yeah. uh, especially lately with these championships. Let's just show you, this is a regular scene. Abbeville winning state championships, 12 in all. And of course, coach Jamie Nichols has won eight of those. He has. and. You know, uh, got a really good team this year. Really good team this year. A lot of seniors coming back, so we're excited about this season as well. And you mentioned Coach Nichols with eight. Uh, uh, the all-time record in South Carolina is ten. So yep. we're getting goat status. Exactly. Uh, you know, when you're talking names like Varner and McKissick, and uh, yeah. Nichols could be joining that soon. By the way, you've got some pretty good hardware you brought along with you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when we're fortunate enough to be able to win a championship, you know, uh, the broadcast team, we have the mm -hmm. opportunity to uh, to buy All the right. state championship rings that the players have. And our booster club, the Abbeville Panther Booster Club, they do a great job with uh, – raising money and all that so that the players don't have to spend a penny on these oh, and that's all of them get you know their championship rings but this is a 2017 a 2020 and a 2022 um accidentally well left the 2018 one at home but <laughs> <laughs> But I, we, I have four as a broadcaster. Well, remember, there's a lot of championship teams to try to keep track of when you're talking about <laughs> Abbeville High. We know they're going to have another great club this year. Tell me a little bit about your morning show because obviously, yeah. you know, how much do you talk about this community and what's happening here uh, with your with your listeners? Yes, yeah, and it's what we do every morning. Uh, you know, hit up uh, local headlines if there's events or festivals or anything going on. It's called the Southern Fried Morning Show. And we're on from <laughs> 6 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people tune in on their way to work, school, and uh, and all that. So, uh, but yeah, we, we, we hit up all the local events and bring in guests, local guests, local musicians, mm -hmm. artists, authors, I mean, you name it. Right. And uh, really try to stay ingrained in the community that way. All right. Well, Benji Greeson, the owner of WZLAFM 92.9? 92.9. 92.9. We'll make sure we listen to that as we are here in Abbeville this morning. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Today. Thank you. All right. Good luck to the Panthers this year. Yeah. I don't know how much you'll need because <laughs> they are awfully good. We've got much more of our zip trip as we roll on on this Friday morning. You're watching 7 News.